Good morning. This is Nita, Miss Panda, and Kitty Blaze at the Timepiece Garden. And the teacher is watching the student hunt. Hope y'all have an awesome day. I'll talk at you later. Yep, looking at the coop. So, the um, oh, the solar panel and the bar, the heated bar for the for the the coop, the net, the roosting bar. There we go. Um, arrived. Um, yeah. Now I get to do all kinds of fun things. So the solar panel um has a canvas back, not a metal back. <clears throat> So it is not meant to be outside permanently, you know, every day, kind of the way that one was, um, which is okay. That's not a problem, you know. Put it out when it needs to be charged. Put it away when it's done charging. Um, I thought it was going to be a metal panel like that, and I was going to have to build like an awning um, to hang it off the awning here so it could just stay out permanently. Since I don't need to build the awning, I am... Um, Ah, oh, this is going to be great. I, uh, I need to put a couple of hooks here to line up with the grommets that's on the canvas backing. So when I need to run the charger, I can set literally set the panel here on the nesting box roof. Just kind of hook it off the grommets there so it doesn't blow away should it be windy. Um, and then long term, I am going to have to drill a hole so I can put the cord inside the building because I want the new battery pack to be inside the building in its own box. I'm going to have to build it a box. Um, you know, plenty of room for ventilation and air so it does not overheat, but that way it's on the inside, not exposed to the elements. Um, it'll heat the bar on the inside. In the summertime, I can put a fan on it, um, and when it needs to be charged, I can set the solar panel literally right here. Um, this is going to be great and and charge. And when it is rainy, because it's still, this doesn't work. It still leaks. Um, long term, I either have to redo the entire nesting box, and I'm not sure if that's going to fix my problem. So I don't have the gap. Does that make sense? Um, to put the lid off of this, and then I'm afraid it's going to leave me gaps along the side that'll let snakes in. So part of the fix is the hooks that will hold the panel in place. Um, should actually hook and hold a, a um, I don't know, a lip here in place that will allow me to still open and close the lid, if that makes sense, but stop any of the rain from coming into the gap without having to build an entire awning. So that's what we're going to do today. Not specifically to charge it, but go ahead and get this gap built. Um, measure out where the hooks need to be so it the, I can hook the solar panel here when I need it hooked here. And otherwise, it's just a, a rain de deflection. You know? Anyway, let me get busy. We'll talk more about it when I get there. That's my solar panel. So you can see the little grommets. That makes sense, but otherwise this is all canvas. So it is not meant to be outside in the weathered elements year-round. Um, so the goal here is to make sure that it will unfold and or fit across the top of the uh, the nesting box. If it does, then what I get to do is, you see where the grommet sits? Is put like a hook here, or something that it can slide onto, you know, bolt or whatever, and then um, unfold the panels. Sorry, I'm hanging on to it because it's not hooked. Makes sense, across the top, and let it charge. And as I'm just so you could close, so I could close it. The uh, connector box is here in, in this part of the zipper bag. Does that make sense? This is the box where it all connects to, and this is the cable. And that's the other thing that I have to do is, is you saw how I laid the first part out. I need to. I'll have to do it so I have both hands. Is one make sure it's going to fit side to side. Um, 
I have a, a Sharpie marker with me so I can mark where the grommets are on the panel so I can attach hooks, whether it be um, like coffee cup hooks or bolts or, you know, um, eyelets, eyelet holes like that. Hey, get my finger out the way. There you go. Eyelet holes like that that I lock these into. Does that make sense? And the whole goal is to, when it's charging, sit here, not have it blow off and let it charge and make sure that the cable will reach from the box here into where the um, the battery will be inside the coop. Does that make sense? This is all about making sure everything fits before I start drilling a hole in the coop to run the cables in and out. Because this cable to charge it will be the same hole that the cable comes out to run the um, the door. So there's only one hole. That's the goal. That way I'm not creating a draft in there. You know, any more than, you know, the fact that I have open venting. So... Anyway, I'm the phone down, and I'm going to start looking at what fits where. Talk to you in a few. Yes, the roof works perfectly. Um, again, you can see where I need to hook something so it'll stay. And then with this one here, I can probably just do some shoestring or some paracord and literally tie it off to the... Uh, to the grommet that's down here or to the pole because again it doesn't stay out here permanently just enough so the wind doesn't blow it off when charging or it doesn't slide off the roof same thing on that side i've got it kind of marked where i need to hang something or put something permanent and this grommet here can just tie off to to the eyelets here for the lid that's awesome that works awesome truly i'm loving that And the cord has still got plenty. I mean, it's got it's got more than enough room. You know, several feet. So taking it from here and plugging it into the uh, yes, my brain hurts. Plugging it into the power station. Once I get it inside, I've got plenty of room. All right, let me take this apart and put it back in the house because I'm not charging it today. And uh, start working on a a lip that will go literally here first to be um to be that rain guard across the seam and make sure that the hook for it is large enough to put the solar panel on at the same time so i never have to take that lip off to just add the panel or take the panel off i'm loving this all right talk to you in a few